Well, the uh, international community has been uh, almost, I wouldn't say completely silent, but almost, because the support that we have got is not to the level that would make uh, human rights uh, violations in Bahrain better. Uh, unfortunately, because of that, the violations are getting more and more day by day. It's not getting less. And uh, the government is not fearing any kind of uh, uh, consequences to care. So therefore, uh, I think whatever being done outside will have an impact on the government to listen the violation of the human rights, which is not happening. Now. Well, my husband with the other 12 with him are isolated from all the other detainees. They are not uh, allowed to uh, see them or talk to them. And even though uh, Nabil Rajab is a very close friend and colleague of Hadi, but since uh, Nabil was uh, in jail, even though they are in the same area, but he never saw him and except for once where they were taking my, hus my husband to the clinic and they were taking Nabil out of the clinic. It was then when Hadi saw Nabil and it's, uh, it was from far away and they could say hi to each other. Uh, this is one thing. The other thing is uh, after the Human Rights Watch visit and the pictures that came out, uh, the government uh, there decided with the authorities in uh, Joe prison that they have to wear the uniform, that they were allowed not to wear it before. And uh, since my husband and the other 12, they have refused to wear the uniform, they have been deprived of many, many other rights in the building they are in, which is building number six. But uh, the, the situation is as it is. Uh, I think the, the situation, the condition in jail is important that it gets better. But I think the main issue is that they should be released because they are all prisoners of uh, conscience. They have all just uh, expressed their opinion about things that should be better. They compare Bahrain to the Western countries, and they want Bahrain to be a better Bahrain for their kids and their grandsons. So I think it's, it's, it's an issue. Uh, well, about the human rights, uh, the, the problem is uh, that uh, Bahrain is an ally to UK and uh, the US government. And uh, what they do is that they are playing smart. And somehow they are bullying these countries, I think. When, uh, when uh, the Bahraini government says, uh, to the UK government that we are doing this and this and these people believe it it's it's for me it's some kind of uh, uh, you know making these people uh, become uh, to the international uh, you know community that these are very naive people and I would never think of the United States government or the UK government to be as naive as they look now for me, Alistair Burt is a very naive person if he believes that my husband deserves to be life sentenced because the government has told him that, well, all the charges about uh, expression of opinion has been dropped. Now there are other uh, offenses. What kind of offenses? So for me, Alistair Burt is a very naive p person which has been bullied by my government.